Yo, what's going on guys, Swanson here, back with another episode of the Hitman 3 storied playthrough. Uh, last episode was crazy, I recorded for 48, uh, the mission was 48 minutes, the recording was an hour and like 6 minutes long, it was crazy. So we're back with the Fair Well in Mendoza, rendezvous with Diana, Burnwood in Mon Mendoza and a certain, what, and a a certain her allegiance okay fair enough uh, we're gonna watch the briefing obviously you can skip it but I'm gonna play it for you guys so let's do it I found something Buenos Aires International Airport this morning now watch this Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, You'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constant's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. All right, I have arrived in Mendoza. And Diana is actually talking to the target right now. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel like Don. has been legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Alright, I'm trusting you. Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere. And they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Oh, she's touched her hand. Agent 47 is like, what? I've got, a, I've got a semi now. Yep. Here, I got you an invitation. Oh, Just excuse me. Thank you very much. Come find me when it's done. Ah, I'll but need, need more of it. Thank you. Goodbye. Do not eliminate Diana Burnwood. All right. Hopefully we don't get frisked because I'm carrying a pistol. Christ. Anyway, what is that on the floor? Is that lens or something? I'm pretty sure I will get frisked. Hopefully I won't. All right, mate. Yes, you may. There you go. Enjoy the party. Hi. Aha, we've not been frisked. There we go. Right. Now, just like this one, there is it over to the large one? No, it's not that. 
the tour. Haha. <laughs> right, so this, I, I wasn't going to do a mission story, but I want to eliminate one of the targets um, with the wine presser. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's yeah, Yates' plan for Diana and Vidal to go on a tour of the estate with the guy. Um, and basically, you show her the wine compressor, and it basically, she just gets annihilated. And it's the most satisfying, I would say, it's the most satisfying execution in this game, or one of the most, because it's just so funny. It's just a big grape compressor, and it's just like boom. So, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to try and do. So, we'll get right into that. Corvo Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you. I can find my way around. Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black tomorrow. He's the ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. Taking his ring off and What? What is he now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them a grand tour. Remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. If Yates doesn't like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Mm. Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Say what? This whole area is out of bounds. ¿Quieres una menta? Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring them here. Now, let's see. But only inky black color. Okay. Quieres un beso? Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Seeds brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet. Flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. And for the workers, will you, Ramon? I, I have a tour to conduct. Will do.
There we go, back. Hello, wine lovers. Hello. Welcome to Viñeda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. The Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief one maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I... <laughs> uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy um, Let's go. In fact, we're just about to harvest hey. this year's crop. Mm. Great expectations. Hey, your partner. So, how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor. Where our prize winning Malbec grapes are in excess. We insist on distilling every grape by hand. Which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state of the art, including an industrial sized freezer unit and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me. Yep, very interesting. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol. Oh, and there it is. Didn't even notice. <laughs> This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. What can you tell me about this device? Grape presser, was it? That is correct, senor. The primary fermentation, the mass is pressed a fine filter, leaving only the flesh. I should add, the grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically red and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Oh, go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. Tamara. Boom, let's get a picture. Mr. Vargas, I believe I blinked. I believe you blinked as well, to be honest. Alright, let's do this. Hold on a second. Oh, you know, that is suspicious. Bye bye. Boom! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. That is not good. What happened to your colleague? Uh, I wonder what. <laughs> you can kill her I do remember there's on the tour there's like three opportunities you can lock her in the freezer and you can push her into the thing but I always thought that was just freaking mental of a grape crusher so yeah one target down two to go and so we arrived to our final stop the barrel room this is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah, here comes Senor Yates now. Big Yates. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank ah, you, cheers, Mr. mate. 
Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little thorough get together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine as the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now. Oh, are we done now? I don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin to bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. All right, we're gonna follow this guy. Get that bottle of wine and do what's rightfully needed. Well, I never exactly went to plan, but either way, we're the wing guy now. It's a vintage year, and that is a shout out to the Blood Money, um, what's it called? Blood Money Mission, because it's uh, in a vineyard as well, and uh, I believe the code is 1945. Um, and we will take that, thank you very much. Talk to the head of security. You alright, pal? Hey, Flowers! Over here, come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you... The 1945 Grand, Grand Paladin. Paladin. Oh. Somehow I thought it'd be... bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Get yourself patted down. Bristol? I don't think. Uh, oh shit! I've still got a fucking pistol. All those big shot CEOs getting off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, just give me one sec. I'm just gonna drop the gun. I need to search you if you want to pass. Yeah, okay, okay, man. Hey, yo, there's no need to flex. You ain't got to impress me. Thank you. Do I go first? Yeah, you, uh, you, all right, you're gone. Okay. The 1945. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already. You being a scholar and all, don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. All right. Set your mind to wool gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. Yeah, he is, because I'm a hitman. Haha. <laughs> They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I have always well, considered the heralds the unsupported. Please wait. Ah, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. Yep, I believe that's me. he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand, Grand Paladin. Paladin. One, of One of only five, only five bottles, bottles in existence. existence. Yes, it is. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated. Thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. 
It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything. Which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves. Ah, oh, big Ken Morgan. Our, founders, our benefactors. I remember Ken Morgan. No mistake. This woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards. The new supreme head of Providence is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? Absolutely. Absolutely right. yes. Perhaps Edward simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant. And following this childish outburst, I dare say I am in the lead. Don. What? Oh, she's dropped the bomb. You can't be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. I agree. Yes. yes. I'm in. Yes. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Oh damn, they've absolutely decked Diana. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her rogue agent 46. Right, we've got to go to the Diana. You never saw All right, there we go. That that one was a little bit uh, better. <laughs> right, try and hide the bodies. So I'll just skip to when Yates actually comes up. Okay, I've got to wait for Yates. And he's coming up. I definitely didn't kill like half of his guards on the way in. <laughs> I always me amazes me how they don't have a clue what 47 looks like. You shouldn't have. So confident even in defeat. 
I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you write about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Holy shit! Huh? Boom! You're fuck you, man! Alright, uh, it says hide the body, but I don't. Can I fit him in this? Nope, it's Phil. Ah, there we go. Okay. Just, can you get him my way, please? Thank you. Yeah, I was wasting no time killing him. I <laughs> just went, bow, bow, bow. This is a bit of a mess, though, isn't it? Right, disguise yourself appropriately. Okay. Probably get rid of the giant gun. Yeah. Oh, wait. I've, oh, it's up here. It's up here. <coughs> Aha! A nice black suit. Oh, a signature suit with gloves. Look at that. Oh, I'm back. I'm back in the black and red and white. Mission story can locate the exit. All right, the exit is on the dance floor, so we gotta go and get that. We can leave with this car, but we are doing the story mode exit, which is the dance floor. Hey, you don't know who I am. Oh, you actually get that car in freelance mode. Ah, oh, there's my Diana waiting for me. Hello, would you like to dance? Tango. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Dun 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 it's done. dun dun. Now what? Now we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the olive grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. Ah, oh, Fort Sims got the gun. Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. Ah, oh, he's he's been surrounded. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. Well, bitch. This is a kindness. Goodbye, agent. I remember watching this for the first time and I was like, I fucking knew it! <laughs> Guys, that will be the end of this episode. But yeah, like I said, I remember watching it and being like, I knew she was going to turn at the end. 
uh, I was like screaming since Hitman 2 when you find out that Agent 47 kills Diana's mom and dad. Um, I was like, she's 100% going to do our blood money and kill him. Um, but yeah, the last episode is creeping upon us. Uh, or the, the story, last episode's untouchable in next one. So if you did enjoy this, please make sure you leave a like. Comment down below, always see and reply to comments. And I'll catch you for the last episode. Peace.